Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to cover my favorite WordPress themes for this year, 2023. Um, what sets this year apart from previous years is that this year, it seems like all the top themes are pretty fast, they run really fast, they output clean code that gets you high page speed scores, um, basically helps your Google ranking. And likewise, they also have many features and customization options to help you build a custom theme uh, without having to code. So all of the top ones do more or less the same thing, but I'm going to cover what makes them distinct and why certain ones stand out a little more for me than others. We'll start with my very first one, my favorite, Generate Press. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that Generate Press is my favorite because it has lots of developer features just like my old favorite, Genesis Press. Uh, sorry, Genesis Theme. Um, Genesis theme was a theme that's basically mainly for coders and developers. It wasn't easy, didn't have like user-friendly features for non-coders. But Generate Press, however, has the features like the hooks and filters for developers, but also has user-friendly features. These are all the features they have in their theme. Again, really easy to use. All other themes have more or less the same thing, but where Generate Press stands out is their developer level features, which I'll show you in a second. Over here, we're gonna take a look at the site library. I really like their starter templates. It's clean, it's minimal. There's lots of different uh, layouts and sizes, uh, colors that I would use. You know, it's just a matter of switching out the images and the font, maybe some resizing, recoloring. Your site's ready to go. I really like, the generate press starter templates but there are other themes that maybe have something more polished for your needs in case uh, you don't want to design totally from scratch all right now let's go over here and let's take a look at what it looks like in the back end so when i go to customize um, generate press looks like this this is what the new modern theme looks like now um, all of them put their settings in the customizer the wordpress customizer so see you can change layout and all that all right, now if you pay for the premium version, uh, which I did, you get all these other features. So different layouts and modules and whatnot. Where Generate Press stands out again is the elements. This is huge, allows you to hook and uh, unhook things into different parts of your site uh, and based on different conditions and such. If you're a developer, you will really, really appreciate this. Again, Generate Press is my number one. But it may not be number one for you, maybe because it doesn't have um, certain user-friendly features or because of the template library, the starter library, is not what you want. So for that, I would go to number two. Cadence is a solid number two option. Cadence theme is here. Okay. Um, as you can see, it already looks a little more user-friendly. looks like uh, less developer-ish. Okay, I love the designs. Cadence designs are amazing. Um, it doesn't look so generic and cookie cutter, but there are many different layouts, um, just very polished. So you can just grab one of these, switch some things out, and you're ready to go. You can throw up that new site, start your whole new business in what, an hour? Okay, we're gonna take a look at what Cadence looks like in the back end. And let's see, where is it? Here we are, okay and let's go to the customizer okay same deal layouts colors fonts and whatnot where the cadence theme is going to stick out is that they have this menu builder where you can just kind of like drag items around and it'll build your menu for you this is huge this is so massively easy it's a beautiful feature and in case you're wondering uh they didn't invent this they kind of copy or stole the idea from bloxy um, but either way, Cadence has, is a great thing to use, great starter designs, great features. They also have Cadence Blocks, which is a Gutenberg block library plugin with many blocks to help build your site. Generate Press uh, has their own Generate Blocks, but they don't have as many options as Cadence does. Okay, The Generate Blocks, is it's more developer-ish. It's very bare bones. So if you're not a developer, you will prefer the Cadence Blocks a lot more. And actually, how about I just give you an example. Let's go down here. And uh, man, who's trying to uh, message me? It's kind of annoying. Okay, here we are. And we're gonna go here 
So this is a spectra. These are generate blocks. So as you can see, it looks very minimal. By the way, I didn't pay, so that also makes it why you don't see so many options. But let me see if I have the cadence blocks on here. I don't, so let me go uh, enable that right now. Here you are. And here I am. We're going to reload this site. And I'm going to have another review later, by the way, on blocks, okay? So you see cadence blocks just has so many more. And this is the free version. I didn't pay for anything. So just right off the bat, Cadence is maybe a better choice for many other people who aren't devs and don't need the, the elements uh, feature. Okay, third up is going to be Bloxy. So let's get out here. Let's go over here and let's go enable Bloxy. Oh my god, I didn't even install. I installed Blockify. Okay, well that was silly. Um, I want to tell you guys something. Uh, today's Today's review was brought to you by Scala Hosting. They sponsored this review. They gave me a server and everything. They gave me a domain to use as a test site. So what it is, um, they have your classic, like your classic web hosting plans with like cPanel and whatnot. But where they really stand out is they have their own custom control panel called SPanel. It looks kind of like cPanel, uh, totally based off of cPanel, but it's their own proprietary panel. Since they made their own panel, the licensing fees is going to be a lot cheaper and therefore you're able to have like a traditional style cPanel VPS for a very good price and it's pretty good performance. Once again, Scala Hosting, I really like what they're doing and I'm grateful for the free test server they gave me. Back to the review, uh, we're going to enable Bloxy and we're going to go right into the Bloxy customizer, check out the options. Come on, Bloxy. So you saw right there uh, that little demo screens where you like, you know, put in new layouts and whatnot. So, okay. They also have the uh, menu builder, the, the feature that um, was copied by Cadence. See, again, here's a menu builder. I will say I like the Cadence user interface better. I just feel the text is easier to read than the really small Bloxy text. So, okay. Um, also, too, I want to show you the starter sites on Bloxy really nice designs, really polished. So probably between Cadence and Bloxy for the, the much nicer starter designs. But again, if you're building from scratch or you know what you want to do, starter designs don't matter so much. Okay, Bloxy as of yet does not have their own Gutenberg block library plugin. So you can just use it with like the Cadence box plugin. But I'm sure um, Bloxy will release their block plugin soon. Okay, next is Nev. So a lot of people don't know Nav, and the reason why is because this is actually an old school company. They've been around a long time, and they've built many other successful themes. So they've built other themes, and because of they built many themes, each theme was popular under its own name. But Nav is like their first entrance into the developer theme world. So the Nav theme is like their theme. Oh yeah, you see, they did Hestia, they did Raft, they did some others. So they've had some, some hits over the years. This is their Nev theme. Um, again, has many, many different design options. I liked like maybe a dozen of them, and then the rest of them, I mean, they've got like 200 designs. The rest of them just felt like super generic over and over and over. Okay, but hey, if you like having a million options, the Nev theme is awesome. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the end. Okay, where are you? Where are you, buddy? Here you are. Also, by the way, uh, the Nev theme has this really cool feature. Let me show you. It has like a cloud feature. So you can put all your features on the cloud. You can save it and then like import your site from another site. So basically, uh, okay, I can't find it here and I'm not going to waste video time. So basically, you can copy uh, your themes and settings back and forth between other sites and share designs and whatnot. I think that's really cool. Again, I'm a huge fan of Nev. I really like what they do. Now, again, you're going to see the same uh, layout options and whatnot. I believe they also may probably have a menu builder. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, they do. There's a little menu builder. So you just drag buttons and things wherever you want them to be, and then they will appear here in the place where you've placed them. Uh, 
Where Nev stands out for me is that it's a big company, it's very professional, and they have the support, they have the manpower to really support newbies. So if you're the kind of newbie that likes to get direct one-on-one -on -one support instead of just relying on a Facebook group, Nev is the theme for you. A nice starter size, clean code, big company, strong service. Now last is gonna be Astra. Okay, WP Astra, if you heard of these guys, they're probably the most popular theme of all time. And they haven't been around a long time. They started five years ago and then quickly caught up. They got huge in the WordPress development community. Um, so they claim to be like the fastest theme and most lightweight, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, don't pay any attention to this. This is just the bare bones numbers. The moment you design your site, it will be just as heavy as it would be on GeneratePress or Bloxy or any of the others. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, these are their starter templates. I really hate their starter template designs. Uh, if you're just scrolling through, it looks like they're nice, but actually you're gonna see that they are just as generic as many others, okay? So ignore, ignore, ignore. Uh, I, I do not like the Astra starter templates, but let's just activate the theme anyway, and let's see what it looks like, and here you are. Okay, we're, I, I don't know if you're noticing the theme. Oh, okay, there's no, there's no like welcome window. Okay, here, okay, same thing, yeah? Same thing, you guys have seen the same with song and dance. Now the Astra theme does have a nice thing. They have the WP Spectra, which is their Gutenberg block library. And we'll go here so that you can see that they have many blocks. Um, it's kind of like Cadence blocks. There, these are the Spectra blocks. Now I'm gonna give I'm gonna say one thing about Spectra. Astra, uh, the company behind this this company, they do a pretty good job. Um, they're a big company, but they're kind of like copycats. They copy what everybody else does. They don't they're not original anywhere. Um, I think their work is mostly good enough, but for some reason, every like year or every other year or every couple of months or so, there's always some controversy. There's always something. I remember their old their products uh, back in the days like had some bugs or wasn't always perfect. I think they've matured by now. They've learned from their lesson. They're not a brand new company anymore. So I think they're mature, but honestly, I just think the other options above are gonna be higher quality, less likely to give you issues. Again, I do think Astra is a mature product and, and I would have no problems using it, but honestly, I just prefer the other ones and the way they're coded. Now, the last two options on the list are Bricks and Breakdance. So these are two very different options, okay? So Bricks, first of all, is a plugin that takes over your theme, okay? So the moment I activate Bricks, uh, oh, sorry, it's a theme, oh, sorry, it's a theme, okay? And it makes your site look like super empty, and then you build everything from scratch, the header, the footer, the whole page, all right, let's just, uh, let's just take a look at what it looks like. We're gonna go to the Bricks Builder. The code is super lean, you are building from scratch. Sorry, that was the Gutenberg editor, but we're gonna go into the Brick Builder now. Okay, so it kind of reminds you of Elementor. You kind of drag what elements you want into the center and, and then you build it. So it's kind of like a page builder, but it's based on Gutenberg. It's clean, it's easy to use. Um, it has tons of, it's way more developer features, so you can really build advanced stuff from scratch. And I think it's also easy enough for uh, non-developer users. Now, the other option is Breakdance. Breakdance is a plugin that can work alongside your theme or can also take over your theme. All right, so does that make any sense? Let's try. So here, we're gonna make a new uh, page and we're gonna edit it in Breakdance. First thing you're gonna notice is that Breakdance is super polished, okay? It's very polished, I gotta add. So come on, pop it out, you see these things? It looks a little cuter, the font looks a little nicer, spacing and things like that look a little cleaner. Um, it's both a good option. I think Breakdance is more simple, it's less, uh, less developer features, easier to use, also Breakdance has a free version, whereas uh, Bricks does not. So up to you, if you're building from scratch or you like a more page builder 
uh, mentality, then bricks or breakdance will be for you. With bricks being the one like more for uh, more for developers, and then breakdance more for like newbies, like like users coming from Elementor. I hope you guys like this review, and uh, once again. Uh, I want to thank Scala Hosting for sponsoring this view, giving me a free test site, free test server. If you have any questions, you have other themes, and you're wondering why they're not on my list, um, I will add a list down here with a, of themes that didn't make the list and little explanations why they didn't make the list. Okay, see you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching.